Hey guys, Katie here, and today I want to talk about Quicksand by Nella Larson. I really enjoyed Quicksand, and I hope that a lot of you will consider picking it up. It's a story about a biracial woman named Helga Crane, whose mother is like a Danish white woman, and her father is a black man. Of course, both of them are gone or dead, so she's kind of been passed around her whole life, and as an adult, she's looking for fulfillment and for a place where she feels like she fits in. The title Quicksand may give you an idea about kind of how the story works because Helga repeatedly decides to go somewhere, move on with her life, and hopefully be happy there and eventually finds herself being pulled back down into this feeling of discontentment and of sort of isolation and visibility. I think that that's one of the most important things about the book is that it talks about sort of the lack of space, the invisibility for biracial people. For someone like Helga, especially in the time when the book is written, her white relatives completely just let her go except for the ones that don't live in America and she doesn't have any black family so she doesn't sort of exist to these southern uh, people that she's living around. So this idea of kind of a lack of space for um, people who are kind of between two cultures uh, uh, is something I've read about a lot, especially when I was in college. I think one of the most interesting things about quicksand is Nella Larson's use of color. Color sort of defines Helga's mood or how she feels she's being perceived by other people. So she's teaching in a southern school and she wears kind of dark, plain colors, black, blue, that's it. And she very much wishes that she could wear brighter colors, wear different clothes. And as she moves from there to eventually Harlem, she starts to wear a different outfit. She starts to wear a little bit more color. And eventually she moves to Copenhagen with her Danish family and they dress her up in all sorts of clothes that are just completely outlandish, um, kind of putting her in this, this place where she's being ex exoticized. So anyway, um, amazing description of color and clothing. Another thing in the book that I really appreciated was a sort of a feminist perspective. Um, Helga feels that if she were to ever get into a relationship and get married, that it would eventually end with her having children and she sort of has this fear throughout most of the book of childbearing and she feels like that would be the end of her life. So this kind of a, you know, feminist aspect. She keeps putting herself in situations where she can be in control, where she doesn't have to worry about allowing a man or physical constraints to control her. So overall I thought this was an amazing, beautiful book and um, I'm really interested to read her other book, Passing, which is shorter. It's actually in my library book. It's both of them. And also, if if you're interested in more writers like um, like Nella Larson, she was a part of the Harlem Renaissance. So I will definitely link below um, Danielle from One Small Pod's video about the Harlem Renaissance. It was incredible. Um, just in general, I uh, love her videos. I'm really interested to read more writers from the Harlem Renaissance. That's definitely something that I'm going to be looking into and I hope that you will consider reading Quicksand. It's a fantastic book. I think that's all I have to say about Quicksand. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.